to this meeting specifically, as opposed to the one in Biarritz later next month, it is the finance ministers and central bankers as well. The EU's here as well, the OECD, the World Bank and a few others as well. Uh, but actually, they've managed to find a whole host of issues, which, of course, they completely and utterly disagree on. And what is interesting is last night in Paris, uh, they were celebrating or not commemorating, but celebrating the uh, 75th anniversary of the Bretton Woods Agreement, and which was formed, of course, uh, organisations such as the World Bank, the IMF, the International Bank of Reconstruction and Development as well. And it is interesting how Bretton Woods, that creaking old lady from New Hampshire in 1944, is being talked about a lot of whether actually we need a new kind of Bretton Woods, a new set of agreements as well, and asking actually whether organisations such as the G7 is really fit for purpose, given the fact that, of course, in the G7, there is no Russia, because that was in the G8, but they got booted out. There is no China. There is no India as well. So to make global governance decisions without those kind of players here uh, is a big question. But then others are saying, well, look, G20 is too big, too flabby, too many countries trying to get their roar in. So it's a very delicate mix as well. Now, onto this meeting, and the backdrop is a lot of contention and a lot of fear. We can talk about trade wars. We can talk about protectionism. But the, the subject that's really getting the most notice at the moment is transatlantic digital trade wars as well. And, of course, the French are desperate for a global uh, deal on minimum taxation rates for international corporations and especially uh, digital companies as well. The Americans have hit back at the French efforts to go solo and have said, no, this could be bad. We're going to have a Section 301 investigation into what you're doing. But Monsieur Le Maire, who is the finance minister of France and the host of this meeting last night in Paris, was talking about those U.S.-French uh, relations and the issues there. Let's listen in. The U.S. are one of our closest allies. And they will remain, of course, one of our closest allies. But they are ready to use sanctions against France instead of trying to sort out an issue through discussion and cooperation. Our view is that it would be far more preferable to sort out that kind of differences through discussion and cooperation instead of opening a 301 section and envisaging the use of tariffs and sections. Tanvi, I'll hand it back to you with, with those comments from Monsieur Le Maire. But safe to say, 75 years ago, Bretton Woods was all about ending competitive devaluations, ending chaos in the global monetary system, of course, after the devastating 30s and 40s as well. Very interesting and I think ironic that the immediate US reaction to an issue that both France and US agree on is to potentially have some form of trade action against the French for going alone as well. It just typifies for me the dysfunction, perhaps in global governments at the moment. Back to you, Tanvi. Hey everybody, it's Hadley Gamble from our new CNBC Middle East Bureau in Abu Dhabi. Thanks for stopping by. Now to watch more, you can try one of the videos that just popped up on your screen. And don't forget to subscribe.